Hey health hunters! Scientists used to think that heart disease was caused by things like high blood pressure and high cholesterol. But now researchers know that the real cause is something else entirely. Visceral fat. Visceral fat is the kind of fat that surrounds your organs, and it's been linked to all sorts of health problems, including heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. So, how do you get rid of visceral fat? Unfortunately, there's no one-size-fits-all answer, but there are a few things you can do to start slimming down your waistline. What is visceral fat and why is it important to lose? Visceral fat is the most dangerous type of body fat, and it's important to lose it if you want to improve your health. It is located in the abdominal cavity and surrounds internal organs like the liver, pancreas, and intestines. Too much visceral fat can increase your risk of heart disease, stroke, diabetes, and other health problems, as we mentioned earlier. Losing weight, eating a healthy diet, and getting regular exercise are all important steps in losing visceral fat. If you're not sure where to start, talk to your doctor or a nutritionist about how to create a healthy diet and exercise plan that's right for you. Always remember that specialists are there to help you. How to determine if you have too much visceral fat. If you're concerned about your weight and whether you have too much visceral fat, there are a few ways to find out. First, you can measure your waist circumference. If it's greater than 35 inches for women or 40 inches for men, you likely have too much visceral fat. Nevertheless, this is a simplified method and therefore not the most accurate. But don't worry because you can also calculate your body mass index or BMI, which is a measurement of body fat based on height and weight. A BMI of 30 or higher indicates that you may have too much body fat. Finally, if you want an exact number, you can have your doctor perform a CT scan to measure the amount of visceral fat in your abdomen. Health risks associated with having too much visceral fat. When it comes to our health, excess weight is always a concern. And while we often think of body fat as being simply a cosmetic issue, the truth is that too much body fat can pose some very real health risks. We said that visceral fat is the kind of fat that is found deep within the abdominal cavity surrounding our organs. And because it's so close to our vital organs, its excess can cause serious health problems, including increased risk of heart disease and stroke, increased risk of cancer, especially colorectal cancer, increased risk of diabetes and metabolic syndrome, difficulty losing weight and maintaining a healthy weight. How to keep visceral fat levels low. Clearly, it is important to keep it as low as possible, and there are several things we can do to achieve this, including eating a healthy, balanced diet rich in fruits and vegetables and low in saturated fats, exercising regularly, check out this video to see what happens if you run five kilometers every day, maintaining a healthy weight, how to lose visceral fat through diet and exercise. First things first, forget about magical and probably dangerous and immediate diets. It's not gonna be an easy task, but it's not impossible. Here are a few tips to help you get started. One, diet. Focus on eating healthy, unprocessed foods. Avoid foods that are high in sugar and saturated fat. Two, exercise. Regular exercise is key. Try to include cardio and strength training in your routine. Three, get enough sleep. Lack of sleep can contribute to weight gain, so make sure you're getting enough shut-eye every night. Four, stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water can help boost your metabolism and encourage weight loss. Five, be patient. Losing visceral fat takes time, so don't get discouraged if you don't see results immediately. Just keep working hard and you'll eventually see results. Sample meal plans and workouts for losing visceral fat. Losing this fat can be a challenge, but with the right tools, it can be done. Sample meal plans. One, start your day with a healthy breakfast. Try eggs, oatmeal with berries, or a protein shake. Two, make sure to include plenty of fruits and vegetables in your diet. Try to vary your choices as much as possible to get the most benefits. Three, avoid processed foods and sugary drinks whenever possible. Four, drink plenty of water throughout the day. Five, make sure to include a healthy protein source with every meal. This could be meat, fish, eggs, or tofu. Six, avoid eating late at night. Try to make your last meal at least two to three hours before bedtime. Seven, get regular exercise. This doesn't have to mean hours at the gym. Even moderate exercise like walking or biking can help. Healthy foods that help burn belly fat. Here is a list that can be very useful next time when you go to the supermarket. There are a number of healthy foods that can help burn belly fat. Some of the best options include lean protein. Protein is essential for building muscle and it can help burn fat as well. Foods like chicken, fish, tofu, and legumes are all high in protein and can help you lose weight. 
Healthy fats. Omega-3 fatty acids are important for overall health and they can also help burn belly fat. Foods like fatty fish, nuts, and seeds are all high in omega-3s and can help you lose weight. Vegetables. Vegetables are low in calories and high in fiber, making them a great choice for weight loss. Eat plenty of dark leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables, and other low calorie vegetables to help you lose weight. Fruit. Like vegetables, fruit is low in calories and high in fiber. Eat plenty of fresh fruit to get the nutrients you need while losing weight. In addition to eating these healthy foods, be sure to exercise regularly and stay hydrated. These tips will help you lose weight and burn belly fat quickly and safely. Workouts for losing visceral fat. And finally, I wanna leave you with some simple routines to start motivating yourself to exercise. One, start by doing some cardio exercises like running, biking, or swimming for 30 to 40 minutes, three to four times per week. Two, follow this up with a few strength training sessions using weights or resistance bands. Aim for two to three sets of 10 to 12 reps for each exercise. Three, add in some abdominal exercises two to three times per week. Crunches and Pilates are great options for this. And that's all for today. Questions and concerns are very welcome in the comment box. See you in the next video.